doubt that's D Park for the Middle Mountain Mama 26th Annual. And I can't believe I'm still like going to bike races voluntarily, not out of some sort of like commitment, but just for fun. Yeah, I think this is maybe like the 10th time I've done this race. You know, I've only done it a few times um, during my professional career, but like, you know, when I first started, I, I did it quite a bit. And um, it's been a few years. I think the answer to my question just lies out there. You get these experiences that you don't get, um, you know, if you sleep in. And, you know, racing, it brings the best out of me, you know, I'm like trimming my fingernails early in the morning. Okay, maybe that's kind of like too much information. But, you know, you're getting your bike dialed, you're really focused on getting your gear ready, you're getting all the stuff dialed, your bike is, um, you know, better than ever, you're mentally sharp, you're focused, you're eating right, you know, all those things come to the forefront when you're preparing for a race, and so I think it's like, you know, racing is cool like that, you know, normally, yeah, you can kind of slack a little bit on the weekend, but, um, yeah, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, it should be fun, Kerry Warner's going to be here. Pan American champion for cyclocross and reigning national champion Luke Valenfelder. So it should be a good tough race. Also Ben Wright, former national hill climb champion. So I'd always like wished that I had really good local competition to push myself when I was racing like the World Cups and stuff. Not, you know, not a lot uh, for the mountain bike races. Mostly on the road. I would ride with other guys, Ben King and Joe Dabrowski and some of the local fast guys but um, you know now I have more competition than I can handle so probably gonna get my butt kicked today we're just gonna have fun see how it goes so the area where we are is about halfway down the Rockstar Trail um, which is sort of like this uh, combination of trails that makes up a FKT route between Harrisonburg and Roanoke central Appalachia so we've got um, thousands of mountains surrounding us but the long ridges are separated um, by valleys with cold water creeks this is one of them this is an award-winning state park with about 35 miles of single track absolutely gorgeous and can't wait to show you what it is all about yeah it's a really cool small state park well it's not small it's probably like uh, it's over 1200 acres but beautiful trout streams, lake just up the hill, and awesome trails, really smooth, shaly, um, CCC built trails. Most of the trails were built in the 1920s and 30s. And um, yeah, it's a little known treasure. It's really a gem, one of the one of my favorite state parks in Virginia. Well, um, you know, a lot has changed in the last 10 years since I've done this race last. And you know, I say it's really for the better. Um, okay, well, I have more gray hair and I'm not as fast as I used to be. Um, you know, at least for the top end stuff. So I have my hands full at this race, but uh, you know, the level of competition in the US has gone from high and it kind of dipped a bit when I stopped racing cross country and we had this sort of lull where the US riders were just getting worked. Best performances were, you know, like uh, Steven was in the, in the 20s in the World Cups and and um, Sam Schultz, you know, kind of like bopping in the low teens, but now we've got um, such incredible talent in the uh, top level of mountain biking and in Virginia. We've got a really strong Virginia series still, and um, yeah, racing's back on, so it's super cool to see, and uh, proud to have played a small part in pushing the level, and now I'm gonna get pushed. All right, Jeremiah. paperwork signed in here. You go, sir. And you're All double right. XC men, just confirm. Yes, sir, right. double right. XC. We're, we're, we're uh, actually never done a double XC here. That's right. And and that is that is something new. Yeah. And as long as I'm still doing something new, I can justify doing the same old, same old for 25 years straight or whatever. So here's Kyle Inman. Real quick, uh, catch up with Kyle Inman. Here's the banner. Here's the banner. Give us the give us a 20 second rundown. A lot, a lot of things have changed. A lot of things are the same. 
Yeah, they are. I mean, we're we're, we're still here, and I'm still the same. But uh, you know, the the trails have continued to evolve. Stony Run is now really Stony Run. It used to be kind of carpeted, but uh, you know, we're still uh, we're still doing it. And we've got us a, a Commonwealth Cup going here, and this is the kickoff. And we're working with RVA Racing. Uh, right going? here, and awesome. Dennis and folks here, and we're going to be uh, electronically timed now. No staple what? board, yeah. No more stapling. Oh, I kind of miss the staples. <laughs> they used to take these tags off the bottom of the number and staple them to the board, and that's how I knew I was at the local Virginia races. I don't know. I miss that. I miss seeing that board. So some things aren't as good as they used to be, but a lot of things are better. You know, we've got a really strong trail crew here, whereas before. A lot of the trail efforts came either from Harrisonburg or Roanoke side. So, yes, indeed. Uh, you know, we missed the staple board as well too because it was 100% right. I mean, every single time. So, we're just going to hope the technology sticks with us today. But uh, yeah, we've got uh, Mike Scales, which is who's done a tremendous job. I mean, heck, even since Rockstar two weeks ago, we've had a tremendous amount of trees dropped, and he's been out there just doing it. He's at uh, Allegheny Highlands Trail Club. Ahtrailclub.com. Uh, if you want to contribute, he'd certainly appreciate that. He deserves it. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to checking out some of the other trails that they've been maintaining in the area, Longdale Furnace and, and some of this other stuff that uh, is kind of just in the periphery. But it is awesome. It's a little known gem here in the middle of Appalachia. So I uh, hope more people come and check it out. Allegheny Highlands, baby. This is, the, this is what you call the crossover. It's yeah. like uh, YouTube. To YouTube? YouTube, to, yeah. Yeah. Conception. Conception. Good job, Puppers. In con what we was that we movie? just got a little. Uh, Inception? Inception. 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 Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Hopefully, I'm not interrupting that. <laughs> How you been? Pretty good. Okay. I, I was saying uh, a minute ago, I haven't been here in maybe 10 years, so it's like a. Oh, yeah. It's like a bit of a comeback, you know? It's like uh, homecoming. Dude, I love this place. Yeah, it's a beautiful park. Yeah. So it's like, uh, how many times have you done this one? Only once. No. Oh, in 2021. Okay. But I've been to the park a bunch yeah. just to ride and stuff. Yeah, yeah. A lot, yeah. Well, hopefully I'll be able to hang for a little while. Dude, you're getting chamois <laughs> on. <laughs> it's all about that chamois time. All right. Minimum race ambitions is to keep air in the tires. Yeah, trouble. Left knee still has no ACL in it. And I have fun. Should be like, what, four hours, Gary? Uh, 322. <laughs> For you? <laughs> What'd you say? 322. 322. Yeah, so four hours. <laughs> if I do less than four hours, it's, uh, it'd be perfect. Three hours, 22 minutes. Yeah, I can see that. It's not really 40 miles, is it? 36. Okay. In the West Virginia and Virginia races, you definitely can't trust anything, including information on the flyer. So it's actually not 41, it's 36. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's like a stage of Transylvania epic. So like a long TSE stage, right, Kerry? Yeah. Warm up, taking in the sights. Normally I'm like on the rollers, focused, but I'm, uh, yeah, taking a little different this year. Anyway, so scoping out the route, it kind of looks like there are four major climbs on this thing. So talking to Ben, right? He's not done this before. Um, it's the kind of course where you got to take it on your own. You kind of have to like know your own pace. It starts out with probably the hardest climb. You do this sort of like small climb up. Yeah, pretty much right out of the campground. And then we go left and um, yeah, it's not much of a warm up. It's sort of a bumpy double track. Steep climb with a ton of switchbacks. Really hard climb. Probably about 20 minutes for most people, maybe 15 for the top riders. Um, yeah, double track, you know, and then it gets pretty long in the tooth on the back stretch because you have this really big climb. We have, um, you know, it's like a dirt road. So, yeah, not much back riding. Anyway, par for the course. It's a true backcountry test. It's going to be a good one. It's gonna to be tough. And um, yeah, the reward people are just that ride very smooth and respect their own pace. Uh, I hope I can stay with the front runners until the finish where, the, or the last uh, 15 miles where there's two short, steep climbs. Yeah, yeah. That's sort of the, the final one-two punch are these really steep single tracks with switchbacks. 
very uh, hard to stay on the bike on some of the turns. Uh, so I think that's gonna be where it comes unraveled. Um, or maybe not, we'll see. So how many mountain bike races have you done, Ben? Uh, not too many lately. Well. Maybe more when I was younger. It's a lot of climbing and former national hill climb champion. You'll be, uh, you'll be all right. You're gonna be putting the wood down. I, I hear there's some other guys here that are pretty good though. <laughs> Where, where's the jersey, bro? Oh, there it is. I'll snap, I'll snap. I thought he was going incognito. That's like when I show up with like a pair of suspenders and a freaking uh, cotton flannel to a group ride. <laughs> Sounds terrible, man. <laughs> well then, you know, you start opening the bets. You get that betting money in. Yeah, like a, a loan, or a, okay. a hustler. Yeah, a hustler. A hustler. All right, well. A pool shark. I'm hoping that these guys aren't starting like it's the uh, the Olympics up this first climb and then I can like hang Yeah, I think I think Luke and I are both maybe in the uh, Somewhat motivated zone right now the last, uh, <laughs> last chance entry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's when you enter like while they're actually putting away all the supplies It's like 15 minutes before <laughs> registration closed and Ellie was like just go do it. Yeah. All right. Yeah That's what my wife said. It's, she's usually good advice yeah, and just, yeah. yeah, this is not fun, man. I think oh, just- a good excuse to come out here. I've never been to Dalton before. It's a beautiful park. It's really fun. Whatever. carrie has been warming up for like the last two hours. Yeah, you can get ready. I saw him on the out. turbo trainer. He got a blood transfusion at the van. I mean, like he is full Euro ready right now. Yeah, he told me he thought the start was at nine. Oh, that's why he was heckling me about not having my shorts on. Well, anyway, whatever. The longer I can ride with these fools, the better. I'm gonna just tail gun and have some fun, try to record some video. Alright, so a little preview. I'm former national marathon champion. But this guy's a reigning US national marathon champion. Pretty cool, have him here on the start line of the local race. You know, it's some novelty, right? So we got a real field. I always complained about not having good enough local competition. But, you know, now we got a lot of good local competition. It's freaking awesome. Um, yeah, no, it's cool. It's really cool. Um, you know, I, I, I'm i proud of you guys. I'm proud of you guys. Make your mama proud. Mama pedal, so there we go, step one. Slippery rocks to start with here. That's pretty good. Got a little time for the big climb. Whew. First test. Passing. After this, I'm going to opening climb and then a little traverse and the big climb. Okay, so far so good. Just over 300 watts climbing and making the cut for top three. Everybody else is gone.
good. Heart rate's down. About 130. Great way to get ready for this really biggest climb of the whole course, or at least toughest climb. It's about 20 minutes. And steep. If I hang over that, definitely got a top three in the makings. fresh smell of sawdust in the morning against the backdrop of musty ferns and kind mushrooms. Mmm. Smells delicious. Here we go. Back to work. the way up. I had to turn the camera on for this. For a dendron tunnel. Really iconic section. heart rate 340 dang it's climbing so far both guys look very very calm Lucas tranquil I think he's keeping his powder dry crap puncture Oh, you got any plugs? Uh. Go, go, go. I don't need them. I got to just, just sit. Woo! All right, Ben, let's go. Uh, all right, just had a plug from my old plug kind of fall out. So stuffed it back in, Ben writes with me. We're about 30 seconds back. All right, I'll take you up on that plug, man. Damn it. Let's go. All right, stand and start. Here we go. All right, thanks. Go. Hopefully that works. Yeah. That's all I get for running an old tire. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Hopefully I done it. Well. Crap. I was doing so good. Self sabotage there. Well, let's see what we can do. Time to go TT mode. Mile 20.
leaves again. You can tell when you get outside the state park proper because this sticks, branches, debris. Hopefully, I can get a good clear run with no sticks in this, folks. That's a common occurrence back here. Wow! Ah! So sweet! And I'm riding good. Also a plus. You really scanned down the trail when you're going this fast. Eyes up. Whew. Oh. There's some technical biz back here. Ha! You gotta pay attention. Nah. That makes up for the easiness of the other part of the downhill. Oh, real? Ah! Glad I didn't put the skinnier tires on. Oh! Not close to making around that turn. Some tight ones. There's some old school. Wow! <laughs> oh cool. A little sketchy. Well, out of the comeback comfort zone for the comeback skills. But don't get it done. Wow. Let's see. There's a trail. Yo! in the aid station bit of a climb here 800 feet to go four miles and I gotta get to work okay I guess we're going through a stream here I think Not much of a trail. All right, if I see tire tracks, oh no, it went the right way. I do. Yep, that country for sure. Ooh, that's cool. I don't see them. I might be riding my own race today. Here about an hour and in. <laughs> Making my way up through this strange burned area. It's wild out here. The thing about being in no man's land, third place here. Maybe that can take in the view a little. Unless those guys have problems, I'm not gonna catch them. I mean, as one thing I've learned over the years is you never know until a race is done. Definitely been doing too much gravel riding. Whew, we're out there. That's ah, wild. Definitely reminds me of Transylvania Epic a little.
So I just finished double back through the Hike a Bike Creek mud section of hell. And now I got this three mile climb, 700 feet, 755, but it's pretty gradual. So I'm gonna put the hammer down. I imagine I'm probably lost about a minute or two on the deep. Time for my secret weapon. It's on now. Oh yeah. Hmm. Good stuff. Ah. Almost the top. The second biggest climb on the course. I climb this ridge. Choking on the cow tail though. Cool. Freshly renovated single track here. I like it. Moss covered goodness. See, I wouldn't have seen this if I stayed home. vertical feet. Ah, pitch is probably about 25%. Ooh, feeling it. Here we go. That's the pro. Gonna put the camera on us. Yeah. Oh man, Skittles and Snickers. That was unfreaking believable. Um, I can't believe I like confined myself to the cross country all these years. Double XC here and out. Totally. Um, yeah, I was just talking to Carrie. And, uh, you know, I saw only one set of track. A little tired from the training this week, but glad I came out. And then, um, uh, Carrie, there was some hardcore shit out there. I mean, like, go track, half track, I kind of call it. Um, half there was track, bench cut, off camber. Used to be bench cut. By elves. Now it's animal track. Elves, uh, yeah, yeah, goat trail. Uh, leaves, sticks, debris. I got to this, like, river crossing. I was like, where am I? That was like deep, deep, deep in there. Uh, it was awesome. But the problem was I only saw one set of tracks. I knew that wasn't good because there were supposed to be two people in front of me. And I kept seeing his tread. Depends who you ask if it was good or not. Ah, uh, well, I guess that moves me in the second. That's right. All right. Well, Silver I guess line. you got to stay on course. <laughs> and I was like so happy to get to the finish. This was with no crashes. There was some wet roots. Started raining out there. It was awesome. Um, Proper backcountry race. I don't count Sea Otter since she could probably do it on a gravel bike. I don't count that bike. either. I'd um, love to see somebody come do this on a gravel bike. It would shit their pants. 50 bucks first guy that does this on a gravel bike. Yeah, it would <laughs> take, more sure. take more than that. Take more than that. Yeah, you know, it's, you gotta be like on your toes. There's, there's a lot of really wild sections where you just come into a switchback and it's like super steep, straight down, snakes, I mean, <laughs> You see any snake? Black snake out yeah. there, big one. Yeah, he's a big boy. At least this big. Yeah. Oh. That's like citation. Yeah, <clears throat> it was good. I didn't have time to collect him, but uh, you know. We'll... Hey, shout out to Mike Scales for all that trail work. Out Absolutely. There. Middle Mountain was. It was in really good shape. You know, Especially like I know. Drop down to the gravel. Oh man. Yeah, it hasn't been ridden a whole lot, but it is like, I'm coming back here. That's how good it was. It was like. Holy cow. And I think that Luke Ballenvelder has never ridden here before. It's like mind blowing. It's like Disneyland for, for mountain bikes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, huge shout out. The club is 
Uh, Allegheny Highlands Trail Club. Allegheny Highlands Trail Club. I follow them on Facebook. I always see their stuff. But um, I attach my Strava to Love Trails. So no matter where I'm in the country, if I do a race, I choose to donate 50 cents per mile to local trail club. So, you know, it's like one of those things that's easy to do. So that way it's like automatic. Let's do it. So thanks, man. All right, man. Thank you. And thanks to Bacoba. <laughs> All right. I love you. I'm gonna find some snacks.